SOLIDWORKS Costing was first introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2012 to help you estimate the manufacturing costs of sheet metal and machine components. Now, we've expanded the scope and flexibility of costing in SOLIDWORKS 2013 to work with more geometry types and different manufacturing processes. Let's take a look at some of the key features. SOLIDWORKS Costing now supports multi-body parts, enabling you to easily estimate the cost of designs that have been built up as a single part. When you first launch costing, it lists all the bodies in the part and tells you if any have no material defined. It then estimates the manufacturing costs and nicely summarises pricing for all the bodies. You can set a baseline or add custom operations such as welding at this level as well. You can drill down into each part by double clicking to review costs, feature by feature or to modify operations such as adding a powder coating to this part. All changes are automatically rolled up to the top level. A great new feature in SOLIDWORKS costing is support for turned parts and parts created on multi-axis mill turn machines. In addition to plate and block, you now have cylindrical stop material. All turning type operations such as inner and outer diameters and grooves are automatically detected. What's really neat is that any milling or hole making operations are also detected so you can account for mill turn machines or parts created in multiple setups on different machines. So keep your designs within budget and create more accurate quotations with SOLIDWORKS Costing 2013.